August 14th, 2024. Hey, Andrush, how's it going? Pretty good. So, oh, what's this? You got Coca-Cola on the table. What's going on? Yep, over here I have a bottle of Russian Coke. Okay. A bottle of Chinese Coke. Chinese Coke. And also a bottle of Canadian Coke. Okay, and what do you plan on doing with all three bottles? I'm planning on you know, tasting them to see if they're different or not. Why do you think they would be different? Well, I'm glad you've asked. See, Canadian Coke yeah. is the same as American Coke. And instead of using you know, regular cane sugar, yeah. it uses corn syrup, which is oh. an alternative sweetener. Okay, and what about the Chinese? Chinese Coke uses actual cane sugar. Oh. And Russian Coke, I don't know what they use. Vodka sugar? <laughs> See, that, that's a good joke. But we're not just going to be testing uh, Coke. No, that would be oh. too plain. No. Okay, what else are we going to be testing? Water. Water, what do you got? Over here, I have Aquafina. Okay, I know Aquafina. Yeah, we have Baikal water. Baikal water. So this is water from Baikal. Yep, straight from the lake. Okay, and, and also a glass. A glass. So air water? Maybe, <laughs> but no. I'm gonna go over to the sink and yeah. I will have pour in some uh -huh. Cass Creek tap water because according to you yeah it was it is the best tap water I think the Pass Creek water is the best you know what let's go right now and let's fill up the water from the tap that is the good old Pass Creek tap water this is the good stuff that is a good stuff now let's put the water aside and let's start with the coke first Now, let's pour in the Russian Coca-Cola called the Dobry Cola. Now with the Chinese Coke, let's pour it in. And now let's pour in the Canadian Coke. Okay, and Andrusha, so you have them all poured into their glasses. And, um, okay, go ahead and try the Russian one. Try, taste it, see what it tastes like. Sure. Does it taste like regular Russian Coke? Tastes like Coke. Okay, let's go with the Chinese. Yeah, it tastes different. It, the, really? That tastes, tastes different? Okay. Different. And try the Canadian one. This has a more chemically taste. The Canadian one has more of a chemical taste? Yeah, maybe it's because of the corn syrup. Uh-huh. So which one of the three actually tastes better? You're going to be surprised by this. Not. But I won't be surprised. Canadian for the win. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Just tastes better? Just tastes better. But, it, but they're all Coca-Colas. There are Coca Colas. This one is made with corn syrup. Yeah. Or in other words, this one is made with corn syrup, or in other words, what I call it, fake sugar. Okay. This Chinese Coke is made with real sugar. Can you show me the label? Uh, like, turn it around. Over here, you can see that it says Coke. I see that. It says Coke, but it's Chinese Coke. Yep. It's Chinese Coke. This okay. one is made with cane sugar. And can we get a close-up on the Dobre? And the Dobre Coke, it's a good question. I do not know which uh, okay. sweetener they use. So how did we... Can you buy Dobre Coke in Canada? No, unless if you have a friend who is willing to travel all the way to Russia and bring back the Coke, or there's someone who's selling it on Facebook, eBay, or any other reseller. No, you can't just go into Walmart and get this Dobre Coke. No. So how did we get it? Oh, we imported it. We put it into our luggage, okay. into our check bags, so that they wouldn't, so that the security guards wouldn't take it away. And 
Now we have Dobry Coke here in Canada. Okay, and how did we get the Chinese? Can you buy Chinese Coke in Canada? Maybe you can buy it at some Asian market, but no, you can't really buy it at Walmart. Okay, okay, wow. Okay, cool. So, for the win is the Canadian one. What about just quickly, uh, which one did not taste? So, is the, what would come in second and third? Chinese or the Russian one? In second would come in the Chinese Coke. Really? Okay. Yeah. So, Canadian Coke, Chinese Coke, and followed up in third, the Russian Coke. Huh. But they're all Coca-Colas. They're all Coca-Colas. This one has one sweetener. This one has another sweetener. Yeah. This one has an unknown sweetener. At least to me, it's unknown. Okay. Wow. I'm interested to see. We're going to do the water test right now. And uh, we're going to see if the Russian one by call or the Pass Creek tap water straight from the mountain or the Aquafina, which one tastes better. All right. Let's start on that. All right, so right here I have water from the Lake Baikal. Yeah, Aquafina water, which we bought here in Canada. And the Challenger, the Pass Creek tap water. Straight All right. from the creek. All right, there it is. So Russian Baikal water, Aquafina, popular brand here in Canada, and our regular Pass Creek water. All right, well, let's open it up and let's pour some in. Sure. All right. That's the bike call. Let's go to Aquafina. Okay. And the you know, Pass Creek tap water is there. already in the glass. Yep. Okay, well, let's start with the first one. Baikal, right from Russia, from the deepest lake in the world. Actually, 430 meters deep, it says on the label. 430 meters. Wow. That's pretty deep, if you ask me. Well, here it goes. You would not believe me when I say that that tastes like water. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that was the Baikal water. Yep. Aquafina. So far, it tastes like tastes exactly the same. The same as the Baikal. Yeah. Okay. And here we are. Let's see. We've been waiting for. How's the past Greek water? And slightly better. It's like if I had to divide the ratings you know, with a 10, then yep. this will get a three, this will get a three, this will get a four. Wow. A three, three, and a four. Well, what's a 10 then? Have you ever had a 10 rating by, water? By that, what I mean is if I had to distribute you know, by the fact that which ones you know, tasted like what, and I had 10 points, then I would give this three points, so I would have seven points left, this three points, and this would get four points, which means that this is slightly better. Okay, so the Pass Creek water beat out the Aquafina, and it beat out the Lake Baikal water. Maybe it's just a temperature thing, but the Pass Creek water is pretty good. All right. Maybe it's because it's unfiltered. That's true. Pass Creek water is non-chlorinated, unfiltered, straight from the mountain. But then you don't know what nuclear waste you could be drinking. Well, yeah, that's true, I guess. Whatever. Okay, well, there it is. Now we know. Um, okay, but between the Baikal and the Aquafina, which one would you choose? Want to try it again? Yeah. So if the Pass Creek water takes the win, what's second and what's third? Water. You know what? What? Baikal water is the second place. Okay, so... Aquafina just... 
it's like it's Aquafina is America and tap water's little cousin. So it has that uh -huh. very slight chemical taste. Okay. I don't know where it's you know, where it got that chemical taste, how it got that chemical taste, it has it. Okay, wow. So the Aquafina is the most chemical tasting. The Baikal comes in second, but Pass Creek tap water straight from the mountain for the win. All right. Okay, well, thank you for uh, the taste test. So we had the Coke test and the water test. And um, now the viewers know, mem remember, this test was conducted based on what your opinion is. Yep, it was, yeah, it was conducted purely based on opinion. Right, and only one person tested it. So, you know, to get a proper reading, we'd need to have like 10,000 people taste. To get an average. And also, yeah. I don't really have a microscope to test what bacteria is in which bottle, so I don't know. Oh, I'm sure Pass Creek has all of them. That's why it tastes so good. Oh, they got all of them. <laughs> it's it's the taste of unfilteredness. There you go. All right. Thank you for everything, and um, maybe we'll do another taste test uh, sometime soon, right? Perhaps. Okay. Paka, paka.